People tend to take electricity for granted. Everybody walks into the room, turns the light on, flips the TV on, and doesn't think twice about it. But the first time there's an outage, everybody realizes how important electricity is. If the power fails, if the lights go out, we all know what that feels like. Until about the mid-1980s, nearly all the repairs on the grid system were done with the line turned off. At that point, our demand allowed for that most of the time. As our demand grew, new technology methods were required to maintain the power flowing while repaired. With the advent and the growth and the reliability that's required in today's market, we need to work on these wires hot or energized. And that's what Haverfield has focused in on as our core business. In today's environment, it's uh, very difficult for the utilities to get the lines taken out of service to shut down the power. But with Haverfield, there's no need to do that. We can do the work energized. Haverfield Aviation started with the concept of taking a helicopter up and literally touching a live electric line. Haverfield became famous over 20 years ago, but they were the first people in the world to bond a helicopter onto an energized power line. Here we had an aircraft flying into an environment that was not normal in a wire environment, and we had an aircraft literally having someone bond on to an electric line on that system, thereby bringing forth an industry that had never been explored. This is the greatest bucket truck in the world. They're like a bird on a wire. Haverfield's currently doing a project changing out insulator strings, and we do it energized. So we had to develop a method with using baker boards and various other pieces of equipment that will allow us to do it energized. The sense of innovation at Haverfield is very exciting. What happens is we'll be working on a project and one of the linemen will go, you know, this would go better if we had a tool that would do this. We have a design that we've come up with that works very well on these structures that allows us to land that baker board on brackets that we fabricated for the different type structures that are out here. Because of all the increased demand in the electric utility, we're currently working on live line services where Haverfield can go in and work on these live lines so that the utility doesn't have to take the power out. Due to operational concerns, due to uh, reliability needs, we were unable to take the power lines out of service. We had asked Haverfield to come in and propose to us how best to do this using uh, a helicopter because those towers are just shy of 350 feet tall. We don't have the equipment that'll reach that. And doing it by hand would take probably 10 to 12 times longer. Significant time saving, significant, and frankly, it's a safety saving. So these guys are down on the wire, in uh, little baskets, on ladders, doing live lines, energized work on these conductors. When people think of doing work, live line, they think of Haverfield.